Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make week 2 of the Crochet Along Last Dance on the Beach by Scheepjes. This square has been designed by Kirsten from Haak Maraak and of course in loving memory of Marinka. You'll either be using the Color Craft or the Merino Soft Yarn depending on which kit you have and do check the pattern for exactly which color you need for week 2. I'll be taking you step by step through the rounds making up this square and I want to thank you for watching and enjoy this week. Before we actually start making the square for week 2 which consists of rows of stars, first a word on hook size. Last week for week 1 I used a 4.5mm hook for the Merino Soft. This week I ended up using a 5.5mm crochet hook. You see here the square for week 2 worked with a 45 5 and 5.5 millimeter hook. This is the merino soft yarn you see here. And what you see is that although the width of all these squares are the same, the rows are different to get to the correct height. I have here 10 rows of stars, 9 rows of stars and 8 rows of stars. Now the pattern asks for 8 rows, so this here is the correct size and for this I used a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. However, because I worked week 1 with a 4.5, I started with a 4.5 also for week 2. However, I ran out of, um, my, my square just wasn't big enough so I had to add extra rows. Now this is a risk because you don't have enough yarn in your kit to make all the squares with 10 rows of stars. So that's why I went up one size and it still wasn't enough because I had to make 9 rows so I went up a hook size more to get to 8 rows of stars. Now, this journey that I had to do with hook sizes is a little bit part of this crochet along is that we're also designing and co-creating our afghan as we go because it's all been designed by different designers. So do keep in mind here that for the merino soft I had to go up two hook sizes and for the color crafter exactly the same. I worked my color crafter with a five millimeter hook as opposed to a four millimeter for week one. So do Keep in mind that you may have to experiment a little bit this week and the journey that we're making with hook sizes and adapting the square to fit, that's kind of part of the process and the journey that we're making with this crochet along. So I'm going for a 5mm hook for my color crafter and a 5.5mm for my merino soft. And you will also have to go up most probably one hook size but maybe even two hook sizes relative to week one. Start with a loop on your hook. And now we're going to make 33 chain stitches. It's one, two, three, four, five, thirty one, thirty two, and thirty three. So that's your chain 33 chain stitches and now we're going to work into these chains to build the bottom of our star stitches. So we're going to build the bottom of our star stitches by picking up five loops in five stitches. We're going to skip the first stitch immediately after the hook, after your hook, and the second chain stitch going to pick up a loop and you're going to do this four more times so in the next stitch pick up a loop and in the next you now have th picked up three loops four loops we've picked up five loops in total to yarn over Take them all off, chain one. And this is the bottom of your star stitch made. Now we're going to make the second bottom of a star stitch. In the eye, so this chain one has formed a little loop here, and we call that the eye of the star. 
to pick up a loop in there I'm going to pick up a loop at the edge of the star stitch here in the stitch where you already have a loop and on the next two stitches so there's again picking up five loops in total so in the eye you pick up a loop on the edge of the previous star you pick up a loop then in the stitch in the bottom so in here in your chain you already have a loop in there you pick up another loop and now in two new sti loops stitches you're picking up a loop also so now you have six loops on your hook in total yarn over pull through chain one that's your second star made and this what you've just done you're going to do until you get to the end of your chain through the eye edge of the star bottom and then two new stitches yarn over take them all off chain one I'll show you again through the eye the edge of the star so that's this loop here inside in the chain stitch we already picked up that last loop and now you've got two new stitches and two take them all off chain one you continue like this until you get to the end of your chain and you can see now how you've made the first few star stitches so what you've just done you have to continue like that until you get to the end of your chain to do the last star bottom in the eye along the edge here and then in the chain stitch it already contains a loop and then in the next two chain stitches six loops on your hook take them all off chain one at this point you should have one chain stitch left and on that stitch you're going to work a half treble like so and then you've completed row one of your star stitches so you've made the bottom of the star stitches Now going to continue with round two. In row two, we're going to make the top half of these star stitches. To do a chain two, and turn your work. You're now going to work half trebles in the eye of the star. You see, you see, I'm pulling my work apart, and you see that little eye there, and that is where we're going to be working those half trebles. Sometimes it is easier to see them from the front. See there, there's your eye. This is the what you made with the chain one, that little eye. So you're going to be working half trebles into there, two in each. So that's the first eye there. You're going to work a half treble. One and two. In the next eye again work two half trebles. You're going to do this for every star until you get to the other side. And you'll notice that I'm bringing my golden loop up a little bit to make sure that my stars have a bit of height. I bring this loop up here from the half treble 
the top half of my star is just ever so slightly higher than if I was not to bring up that loop, that first loop. So if you work your stars like this, they're going to be much smaller than if you just give that a little bit of height. So I'm just aiming to get my stitches a bit higher here. So in every eye, you're working two half trebles. And your second half of the star stitches goes considerably faster than the first half. You'll have to pick up those five loops, but if you go, uh, but working the half trebles goes much faster. And we're almost to the other side. When we've worked this first row, it's good to just take a look at how we are for size. Just compare our first row of stars to the gate swatch that we've made. Got a few more to go. And you've got two more eyes there, so work them in those last two. Also work two trebles in each. You're going to have 14 stars in total. Especially this last one, don't forget this last one here. And two trebles. And you're almost done. On the chain one, remember you had here, you skipped that first chain stitch. You're going to work a half treble on that. Just a hook in that chain stitch and a half treble. And now you've completed row 2 and you've also completed your first row of star stitches. And now we're just going to take a look how we are for size. So I have here my gate swatch. I'm just going to put my stars, my first row of stars on my gate swatch. And what you want, let me just open this up a bit, and what you want is that this is more or less the same width as your gauge piece. You don't want to have to pull this an awful lot to get to the correct size. You want this to be about the same size without having to pull. You can see I still have the border, the edge on both sides, that's okay, but I'm not a centimeter short because these stitches, although they're easier to pull on the height, they're not quite so easy to pull with the wise. So make sure that you're still okay, okay gauge wise. If, the, if you're really short here, go up a hook size because you'll also not only have troubles in the width but most probably also in the height later on. Check your size here. I'm still okay so I'm going to continue with row 2. Sorry, row 3 already. So to work row 3, I'm going to do a chain Three, three chain stitches, turn your work to the front side facing. We're now again going to be picking up loops. We're going to skip the first chain stitch closest to our hook and then on the second and third chain stitch we're going to pick up a loop. So that's one loop and second loop in those two chain stitches. Now on the first three stitches you're also going to pick up a loop. So that first stitch, you pick up a loop, the second and the third stitch. You now have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, take them all off, chain one. That's your first half of a star stitch made. Now you're exactly going to work the next stitch exactly the way that we did in row 1. So in the eye you pick up a loop, on the edge of the star you pick up a loop, in the stitch here in the bottom which already contains a loop, pick up a loop, and on the next two stitches, one, two, 
to yarn over, pull through them all, chain one. And that you're going to do until you get to the other side, until you've made 14 stars. It's one, two, three, four, five loops you've picked up, yarn over, take them all off, chain one. So again, two, three, four, five loops you've picked up, yarn over, take them all off, chain one. Continue like this until you get to the other side. I'll show you the end and how to come back also. Almost to the other side. We need to work one last star. So I'm picking up those five loops. And these last two loops are going to be on the last two stitches. Yarn over, pull through chain one. Now you still need to work a half treble on your turning chain two here. So on that second chain stitch I'm going to work a half treble. If I can just get my hook into that chain two. There we go. Work a half treble. Then that completes row three. And now we're going to do row 4, where we're going to work the top of the star stitches again. So for row 4, we again start with a chain 2. Turn your work. And again, in the eye of every star, we're going to work 2 half trebles. This is exactly the same as row 2. So in that eye, work a half treble and a second and in every eye you're going to work a half treble and you're going to continue until you're to the other side where you will of course still need to work that last half treble on your turning stitch Continue making all these two half trebles in every eye. See that's the eye there. And if you're ever in doubt where exactly it is, it's usually easier to see from the front. Then just quickly turn your work to the front, it's like, oh, there it is. And then you can work your stitch. And then we're going to work eight rows stars so that's 16 pattern rows because you need two rows per star in total for this square so this is a it's a nice square it goes reasonably fast but it is a yarn eater this square especially because I'm trying to lift up this loop here this golden loop and make my stitches just a little higher and also because you're picking up those five loops. So your star stitches are yarn hungry stitches. Bring up, every time bring up this loop. Like so. You've just done the last star and now you still have the top, you've got this chain three and that top chain you didn't use, you're going to do a, a half treble in that top chain stitch. And that completes row 4. And you're now going to repeat rows 3 and 4. You're going to repeat until you've had until you have 8 of these stars. You've got 2 stars now, so you're going to repeat this until you have 8. When we're halfway, I just like to make a check for size 
And then when we're completed, we've got eight rows of stars. I'd again like to make a check for size by comparing it to our gate swatch. So continue repeat rows three and four until you have eight rows of stars. So I've now done four rows of stars, which means I'm now halfway on the pattern. So I'm just going to take my gauge swatch for comparison. Just see how we are for size. This is the gauge swatch. I'm going to put my stars on here. Remember here at the bottom you still have the border that you're making, the edge that you're making. So I'm going to put it roughly like this. And what's important now is that your width is just about the same size as your gauge swatch and your height should now really be halfway because you're halfway the pattern you're making eight stars rows in total so you should be halfway so if I look at this I am about halfway if I do this you see it's a good match on size so you really want to be halfway your gauge swatch at this point if it so happens that say you are like this you worked four rows but height wise you're only at about a third you really want to increase your hook size because what's going to happen is by the time you've worked eight rows of stars you're going to be at about this point here somewhere so you're going to have to add extra rows of stars you can do that but then the risk is that you're going to run out of yarn in your kit and especially for the merino soft you're really going to have a, a, a risk of that and I would hate it if you would run out of yarn so because the pattern is calculated on eight rows of stars and not um, 10 rows for example. So if you are not on size at this point, if you're not halfway your gauge swatch, please go up a hook size or pay extra attention to that golden loop, golden loop to really raising your star stitches because just to get them all high enough. I'm okay at this point because I'm halfway now, but so I'm going to continue. But if you're not, please go back and just work it with a bigger hook size or pay more attention to your golden loop. When you've done eight rows of stars, this is what your square looks like. And before we actually make the border or the edge, I should say, it's a good to just quickly take a look at our gate swatch and how we're doing for size. So I've got here my gate swatch. I'm just going to put my star square on top of this and what you see is that we're reasonably good for size. I mean you still got to do the edge around here so that it's not a complete fit is not a problem and I can actually help this just a little bit on the lengthwise and then we're this is going to be fine. If you've done eight rows of stars and your square is actually only like this for example you could choose to add one or two extra rows of stars. However, like I said before, you have the risk that you're going to run out of yarn. And if this is the case for you, you've done eight rows and you're not to the correct height yet, I would advise that you increase your hook size. I also had to increase my hook size to get my stars to the correct size. So go up a hook size if needed. If you're after eight rows, you're about the same size as your gate swatch. Perfect. Then we can do the border. To do the border, you need the front of your work facing. Remember at the end of row of your last star row, you'll have the back of your work facing. So turn your work to have the front facing. I'm going to do a chain one, which doesn't count for anything. You're going to do 26 double crochets along each edge, exactly the same as for week one. Remember we've got 28 stitches along this edge, so I'm just going to make life easy for me and I'm just going to skip the first stitch, so that stitch. And then in the next work a double crochet. And I'm going to work a double crochet on every stitch until I get to the other side. And when you get to your corner, to go around the corner you work three double crochets exactly the same as you did for week one and then you also are going to mark the second of those three corner double crochets this is again to make life easier for yourself later on when you need to join all your squares so 
we're just working a double crochet on every stitch almost to the corner like so. 26 stitches then on the corner stitch I'm actually going to use this to do the corner so that's one two three double crochets now I can have a little piece of scrap yarn and that second corner double crochet I'm going to use my scrap yarn to mark that stitch this has indeed to do when we joining the squares that you know where your corner is I've just marked that stitch and now I can continue and also along this edge make 26 evenly distributed double crochets it's not a matter of life and death exactly where you put them just kind of eyeball it and distribute it evenly go all the way around work three double crochets in your corner so continue like this you see here your nice edge go all the way around and close on your first stitch here with a slip stitch and when you're done your square looks like this take the time to block it because then it just becomes a bit straighter and a bit uh, more crisp also do a wet block as opposed to a spray block because that's better for the color and then you're done with week two thank you for watching until the next time